Hi, we're going to follow on now from the trigonometric graphs lesson to look at solving trig equations using the graphs. So we've got a question here. It says, suppose we wish to solve the equation sine x equals 0 0.5. And uh, we're looking for all solutions lying in the interval 0 to 360. This means we're looking for yeah all the angles in this interval, which have a sine of 0 0.5. So we're going to solve. OK, so solving usually means find x, doesn't it? OK, so we're going to be finding all of the um, all the answers to this in this particular domain. All right, because obviously the sine graph goes on forever in both directions. OK, so we need to narrow it down to this small window, just this first oscillation. OK, um, so the first thing that we'd ever do if we were faced with this in when we were doing Sokotoa, when we we're just doing normal trigonometry, is you would find x by just getting your calculator to spit out the answer, okay? So we're just gonna say x equals sine to the minus one, 0 0.5. And if I put that into my calculator, I get an answer of 30 degrees, okay? Now let's go and have a look. Now, we know that the answer we're after when we put x in is 0 0.5. So if we actually go across from the 0 0.5 and read down, you can see it looks about right, doesn't it? Okay, there's 30 degrees. But there's another answer in this particular domain, okay? And we get that by continuing that straight line across. And we're gonna hit the graph again at the next answer. And the next answer looks like it's just before 180 degrees. And we can also see that this peak here, all right, is completely symmetrical with 90 in the middle, all right? So hopefully you could use the idea of symmetry to actually find what this next answer would be, all right? Now, the way that I usually do it is I think, well, this difference here going from zero to 30 is 30. So it must match on this side, okay? So I hope you agree that my next answer here is actually going to be 180 degrees, subtract 30 degrees, which is 150 degrees. That's my second answer. All right. Um, and I could also, you know, obviously I can go and check that. So I'm going to put that into my calculator now. Sine 150 degrees equals, yes, it does, it equals 0 0.5. So you can go and check. Now, I don't think there were any, there's definitely no more answers here because then the graph is going be below the x axis to give negative values of sine x. So they're my two answers. Okay. So I've got two answers to the first question 30 degrees and 150 degrees. Okay, let's go and have a look at a cos x um, example. So here's the cos graph, okay? And again, similar sort of question, very similar sounding. So it says cos x equals uh, negative 0 0.5. Looking at the same domain, so x lying between 0 and 360 inclusive. And this, the first thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to do cos to the minus 1 of negative 0 0.5. So that's going to give me an answer of um, 120 degrees. Now, does that match up with what I can see on the graph? Let's double check. So let's go across from um, negative 0 0.5 and hit the graph. I, ooh, I want my straight line. Let's try that again. Okay, so we're going to hit the graph and we're going to read up. And yes, it looks about right. It looks perfect to me, actually. So 120 degrees is right here. Now then, I'm going to do my sort of thinking again. Well, what I'll do is before I do that is I'm going to extend that horizontal line and check where we hit the graph again, which is just before 270. Let's have a look at the difference between 90 and 120. Again, it's 30, isn't it? So this, by symmetry, must be 30 as well. So I think that, and I hope you agree here, that the distance there, if that's 30, the blue distance here is 30, I ought to be doing 270 degrees, subtract the 30 degrees that I know is that distance to get this mystery value at this point, which is 240 degrees, okay? And again, I can put that into my calculator and I can check it. So 240 degrees, I think I'm, that's my, they're my two answers, okay? So I'm gonna go and check in my calculator that cos 240, okay, equals negative 0 0.5. And I am absolutely correct there, okay? So great, I'm happy. All right, okay, final part today, I'm gonna to show you how to solve 
an equation involving tan, okay, using the graph. So this one is tan x equals three. Now you can see that the number's gone up because obviously the tan graph goes up infinitely, okay, its range is infinite in the uh, in see this vertical direction it keeps going. Um, crucially though, it does have these asymptotes, you can see at 90 and 270 and minus 90 and minus 270, um, which I didn't actually mention in my last video, but they're very important. We can't do tan 90. If you do that on your calculator, you'll get maths error. And tan, tan 270 doesn't work either. So we might come on to that reason for that in a later video, but here we go. So let's stick to the point. We've got tan x equals three. And um, we can solve this because obviously you can see two, three will be up here somewhere. All right, we can go across the graph and read down. So it would be something just a bit less than 90 probably. Okay, so the x is tan to the minus one of three. And if I put that into my calculator, I get an answer of 71.6 degrees to one decimal place. Now, um, we talked in the last video as well about how this, these snakes, as I like to call them, they actually repeat themselves every uh, 180 degrees. So say that my answer up here is there, okay? That is gonna be repeated 180 degrees later. So all I need to do for this one is just add on 180 degrees to my answer to get the next answer along. Um, so if I do that, I get 251.6 degrees to one decimal place. Really easy with the time graph, actually. Okay, now I can go and check the next one and check it's still in the range. But you remember, I'm in, sorry, the domain. The domain is 0 to 360. So if I go across to the next one, it does actually become 431.6, which is too big. Okay, it's, it's outside of this, isn't it? I only want to go up to 360. And obviously going backwards, I'm going to be going negative. So I've actually got my two answers there really easily uh, just from adding on that, uh, that 180. All right, so I've got my first answer at the calculator and then I just added on 180 to get my second answer. Easy as that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, hit subscribe, go support my channel and uh, I keep enjoying my videos. Thanks.